Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be covering some massive leaks that we have received in Destiny 2, Season of the Wish. Um, these are some very, very big leaks that we've gotten for the final shape. On top of the final shape, we also have gotten for literally everything after Destiny and, you know, the future of Destiny and what's going to happen. We are doing a lifelock giveaway, guys. We are only 200, less than 200 subs away from 16k upon hitting 16k subs we are going to pull the giveaway winner nonetheless let's get into it attention by the way like sub comment your favorite exotic the platform you play on and do you have a shot at winning life all right into the cool stuff so the pace spin stuff um people were complaining that i wasn't putting it on the screen and when i did it was way too blurry for them to read i tried upscaling i've literally tried everything they always come out very blurry for some reason when i export the video so i'm going to link it down in the description down below for you guys to check out all right, let's get into the actual important stuff. Destiny to the final shape information. Effective 25th of February, 2024. Not much content added to the final shape product as a result of delay. More polishing and minor tweak and additions such as weapons and plus one more pieces of exotic armor per class. Grand total of nine exotic armor pieces added for three each. Hunter exotics, Sinopiera's Karas gloves. Buff storm edge by allowing you to throw an additional super knife along with adding blinding on effect to each throwing knife. Uh, it results in four knife throws up from three. Each knife throw whirls, jolts, and blinds and tracks targets. The helmet is going to buff your smoke grenade. The third exotic is to be determined helmet and uh, it's going to give you an extra solar healing grenade. The titan exotic furry of smith arms. Um, it buffs the lingering vortex grenade, and then fist of souls, uh, soul adders. It's gonna buff juggernaut. It's going to have a five second cooldown per instead of waiting for you to get the entire thing, taking your barricade. The warlock exotic, ashes of phoenix chest. It buffs the song of flamed, uh, aspect. The final shape campaign. Uh, warlocks are only, or actually, warlocks get two exotics. The electromatic flux helmet buffs chaos, uh, chaos reaches duration and extends it by si uh, five seconds. And it will actually sustain beam damage on a single tar uh, target, which results in small arc pools being dropped around the said target, similar to the Warlock Enhanced Solar Grenades. The Final Shape campaign is a eight-story mission long. First two missions are about the Pale Heart and Finding Cade is respectability remaining. Seven missions are about an approach to the Witness. Monolith named End Singularity in game. As we approach the dangerous, uh, uh, the danger escalates. Philbar are now prepared for what the subjugators bring to the table, especially in legendary difficulty. They are essentially trials cheaters, but as a PVE enemy. In Singularity is the most unique, most beautiful environment there is in Destiny 2. Designed with art pieces from artists such as MC, Sketcher, Salvador, Dali, and Edward Munch. In mind, the entire area feels like something disconnected from the entire universe. The final shape is left ambitious by the conclusion of the story, but the end singularity is the witness's idea of what is manifesting, stairways leading into each other, the environment cuts perfectly into pieces, etc. Some of this was visible during the showcase. We saw rocks cut into pieces, or the Fizon flash frozen and cut into pieces. Not too much to say about the raid. It will be like Last Wish and King's Fall level in sheer uh, terms of scale, length, the witness is fought into four phases, one phase for each darkness element, plus a final phase where it is falling apart. As leaked previously, we end the witness in a 12-man activity. However, while we succeed, uh, succeed in ending the witness, what happens after is the collective souls which made up the witness are split apart and leak out. This is the new enemy race, the Veiled. Bungie intends for this to be the biggest surprise coming with the expansion, a whole new enemy race. Red subclass, elude the element is confirmed. There's one post-campaign mission where we investigates the remnants of this red subclass. The new darkness power we post, witness, and veiled units use this power against us. However, we will not be getting the subclass in the final shape. It will be launched in a future expansion. Episodes are essentially longer seasons vaulted every year. Ten years of Destiny Pack launching in September will bring Prison of Elders back into D2, free for all, along with Exotics, Pocket Infinity, Zello, Superstar, Nemesis Star, Super Good Advice, Quest for Nova Mortis, and Abandon. It will be a part of the pack. That's all the spaceman has. Some people said this was fake, some people said it was reputable. Me personally, I don't really care, but I'm excited that if this is true, I'm hoping it is, but again, um, that's really all we have for leaks. So yeah. Stay safe other guardians. Have a great night or day, depending where you're from. Leaks from service. Giving.net, you can find teams to complete different activities like raids, trials, exotic farming, and many more.
All the services can be done without account sharing. You don't need to give your login or password. To order a service that you like, you need to choose the self play option. When you select something that you like, choose your platform. In this case, I play on PC, so I'm going to be selecting PC. From here, to select the self play option, go all the way down and click self play. After you're satisfied with what you're going to purchase, add to cart and then click purchase. After finding out what you're going to want to purchase, you're going to want to go to your coupons and type code HECTIC for a 15% off on all products. From here, type your email so they can contact you. Then choose a payment method and check out. I would highly recommend Diving.net as you can do a lot of awesome things and they have great support 